Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to Seriously Podcast. I'm Mary. I'm Brittany. And guys, first off, we want to say thank you so much to all that wished us a happy anniversary. Yes. Last week we celebrated six years. Six whole years in the game. In the game. Shout out to y'all. We without y'all, with, come on. We wouldn't without, be here. Without y'all, we would not be here. And we thank you guys so much for all the support over the years. All of the listens, all of the follows, all of just everything. Y'all Literally. really been with us in the trenches. And we here. Yeah. And they be patient too because we do be going on hiatuses. Just randomly. Just random. And then just <laughs> pop up. Pop up like nothing happened. Like, like hey, hey guys. Y'all. So we're going to start doing this. <laughs> like, so like, first of all, where you been? Um, no explanation or no. nothing. <laughs> We we promise to be better people. That's yeah. uh, that's something we're working on, y'all. But um, we thank you for just always, you know, being there for us. We thank you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate y'all. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Um. All right. So we're finishing off our recap of a la carte. Right. It's the season that's finale. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, I got thoughts. I got concerns. And I've got questions. Okay. <laughs> so we need to jump right in. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, title of this is um, for let's no more that. buffets or something like that. No, 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 no. It was something very um, odd that I said. What does that mean? I think it was no more. Was buff- it no more buffet? Yeah, I think so. Double check. It Stand was by, called guys. Stand, Stand by. by. Stand by. <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. No more buffets. Right? No more buffets. <laughs> no more buffets. I don't know what I thought it was. Okay, no more buffets. All right. Um, yeah, so if you if you guys are not already, please follow <laughs> us on all social media platforms at Seriously Podcast and listen to us on all podcast platforms at Seriously Podcast and watch us on Black O T V. Shout out to Black O T V because our sixth year we on a platform. Yes. That's really amazing too. So shout out to y'all. Thank you. Um so make sure you guys are watching us there and listening to us everywhere. So let's get into it. Let's let's do it. Because do it. Lord have mercy. What the hell was Lord- this? <laughs> <laughs> so at you know, last episode, Mahogany and uh, Shira um, both was trying to be sneaky mm-hmm. and um, let the the men who were not supposed to be in their lives back into their lives. Yep. So at this episode, we pick back up and they're kicking them out. Mahogany got all this energy, like get out, get out. Effie. She got like, a lot of energy, a lot of energy, ma'am. Look, take take a step back and look within <laughs> because what's going on? So Mahogany and Shira are like. Basically, yelling at each other, competing, like, who's stupider? Yeah. Me or you? Because you stupid for this, I'm stupid for this, but I could beat you with the stupidity. So, like, what what are we really fighting about? Like, y'all both are stupid. Idiots. Yeah. Yeah. And y'all both love dudes who are, who are treating you guys wrong. Yeah. Um, Shira, I didn't, I didn't notice that yeah. Mahogany is sort of the other woman in the sense that uh, Shira is dealing with the man that's cheated on her. So she's like, how could you do this to me? Because you know what I'm going through. I'm dealing with the man that's cheating on me. And you happen to be dealing with the the man that has a woman also. And you're choosing to be the other woman. And I'm like, she's right. She is right. She got a point for that. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, Because, like, you see me going through this. She's like, you're there for me. And then you turn around doing the same exact thing. But it's like, she said that, but at the same time, it's like, look at you, girl. Because you're taking yeah. the man back. You are doing taking this. him back. They so, both had solid points, but they are both dumb. Yes. But then Mahogany had the nerve to throw her mother into this. Don't act like Miss Sheila. Whoa. Whoa. This is between me and you. Don't bring my, <laughs> don't bring my mama into this. Don't do it. Mahogany thinks she's above it all. Yes. That's and what you're was not. Killing me. That was what was killing me. She's hella judgmental. Yeah. And then she was calling Shira judgmental. It was like, mm-hmm. 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 let me know when you're done. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so then Shira goes into it just like, you know, am I not allowed to tell my best friend like when she's acting out or that she deserves better? Mm-hmm. And uh, Mahogany's like, F you. So it was like, Mahogany's big mad. And you, she's not even seeing Shira's side. So, um, and then Mahogany says, You glorify relationships so much, you don't know when to leave when they end. I hope you don't fall flat on your face and get hurt. And she mm-hmm. thought she did something with she that. She sure did. She thought she killed the game with that. She sure and did. And then chose violence. Yeah. Why are you 
pushing me with your shoulder. What are you doing? Are we not adults? Yeah, we're she, fighting. She's mad that she got caught. That's what it is. That's she's exactly being held what it is. accountable. Her friend told about herself. And now you're mad. Because she's the judgmental one. So she thinks like she's above it all. She can't yeah. be judged. Yeah. Because she's perfect. Yeah. But then also she always felt Shara was judgmental. So it's like you just being judgmental again. Yeah. But it, like girl, come on. Yeah. But then Mahogany does the stupidest thing. Talk about she it. She ends up going to Derek's place. Running to Derek's place. Running. Talk First, about I need to let this frustration out. What frustration? What frustration? Like, and then she's like hyperventilating. It's like, I need to talk to you. But it's like, why would you go to his house knowing even Rodney lives there? Like, yeah. you don't want to see Rodney. You go, you run to find him. Like, why is he your sense of calmness, comfort? <laughs> comfort? Like, of all people, Derek? Der- Dirk? Like, no. Your ex? Your F boy ex? That one? Yeah. And then. He's like, listen, if you want to relax, I got you. We yeah, can go in the bedroom right now. He's like, we can do a couple things now. Then she turns into her prudish self again, talking about you really trying to have sex with me, knowing that you have a girlfriend. Oh, he now. He tell about herself, too. Now, all of a sudden, he's like, now, all of a sudden, you got morals. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, now, all of a sudden, you don't mess with girl, with guys' exit or whatever, with girlfriends? Like, what? No, girl. Like, now, all of a sudden, you have this willpower but yeah. it's like girl um and he's like i don't even know who you are anymore i don't know who this mahogany is like she got mad again because again another person is calling her out that's what it is and she's like you don't know me trying to leave miss you came into my home. hello and ma'am we all know you and that's the problem you don't know yourself <laughs> you don't know yourself so that was weird her going to Derek is just a weird dynamic for yeah, me yeah it was a lot of weird things happening in this episode no lie mm-hmm. a lot a lot so let's go to Misha. Misha. Okay, she, Misha, Misha. Yeah, Misha. You're like, who is Misha? Who is Misha, yeah. So Misha wakes up at Teacher Bay and Nicole is calling her. Mm-hmm. And she's like, she get kind of freaks out like, oh, I can't have my worlds colliding. <laughs> um, and she ignores the call. And then Misha and Adam have this conversation. But I'm not even sure where that conversation led them. It was kind of just like, because she kind of was insinuating him for, for him to leave. But then she was like, no, don't leave. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. know what that was. I don't know what it was. I said that throughout the whole time watching this episode. What was that? What? What, what, what was just that? happened? What was that conversation? What is happening right now, guys? A lot in this episode. Writers. I, a, We're going to talk. <laughs> we must have a chat. A lot was happening. What? What? Why was that? What was like that? I like members of the team started dropping. That's what it was giving. Oh, not dropping of the <laughs> That's team. That's what it was giving. Oh, we'll get no. into that QC scene oh, no. with our final notes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, um, Misha feels that she has to make it up to Nicole. So she's running like, oh, my God, no, I, I forgot about last night. And Nicole's like, girl, what are you what are you going on about? She said, girl, ain't nobody worried about you? She said, ain't nobody even thinking about you. <laughs> nobody. Nicole was confused. But, you know, Nicole, she's, like, not really into the feelings or whatever. Like, you do you. I'm going to do me. Yeah, we'll be in the grown middle. Grown woman. Grown woman. How grown is she? She's grown, grown, because she got a whole teenager child. Whole teenager. Talking about mom. Mom, come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she got a whole teen. I wasn't even surprised, because she looked like she would have a teenager. Yeah. She's a grown she's woman. A she's a grown woman. She is older. But then Misha's like, ooh. Yeah, I wish I knew about this. <laughs> Why? For what? When the time we never when when was I going to tell you I have a teenager? Was it when I was telling you to get your vagina pierced, or was it when I was telling you to have a threesome? Like when would that I have? I tell you what to do. But I don't tell you about my life. I just tell you what to do exactly. I want Misha. Do you think you're her girlfriend? That's what it's given. Do Misha you really don't think you're her girlfriend? Misha don't know how to act because she's like, why don't I know these things about your life? It's like I don't. I'll tell you when I feel like it. Yeah. You're not that important in my life. I mean, you said it. You said it. Um, so she's she low key feeling away about it. Yeah, it's a lot of feelings. It's a lot of feelings. How are you? How do you feel about dating um, men with ki- with children? What? What's that? What are those? Scary children. I don't think I would ever date a man with with a child because I don't have kids. So. I didn't want to be with someone that does have kids. I know there's a lot of guys who wouldn't date women with kids. And, you know, we're all out here. We're out here. We're out here. We're out here. But, um, yeah. I just think, I think definitely, like, at a certain point, it, I don't know. 
I just think like I definitely as we get older, it's a little bit more difficult to find men without kids. It's a little bit. In your experience, honestly, I've never come across a guy that I wanted that had a child. I feel like every almost every guy that you've dated has a kid. And you just be like, Yeah, I'm accepting of it. Are you judging? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what? A little bit. A little bit. I mean, I don't see I don't see a problem with it if like as long as the relationship with the mother is um healthy, mm-hmm. that's number one. And then also like I think it matters as far as the age. Like I wouldn't date a guy who has like a newborn, like, oh, let me take you out, but I gotta put my newborn No, yeah. deal with that. Right. You have diapers to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the kid is like a little bit older in age and like I said, the relationship with the the mother's healthy, like stuff don't work out. So I wouldn't I wouldn't like X them out just because of that. But it's definitely not something I'm searching. Like, oh, he got to have kids. Oh, like, no, definitely not. You're not like that at all. Mm-mm, at all. For me, it's like, if you have a kid, how often are you seeing this kid? How, how are you, you making time kid? for me? It's a balance. It's, it's a, balance. a balance. Yeah, it is a balance. But so just because they have kids and they, they can't date? No, I'm just saying, like, I understand for like single moms, they usually have the kid. Right. Yeah. But the men normally have that freedom. So it's like you have time for me, but you don't got time for your kids. That's well, yeah, what it that's gives the, to that's me. That's a character thing. Like but I feel like if you meet a guy and they you can see that they have a balance, they have their kid, they, you know, work it out, co parent well. Those are things that I, I would never date a guy that like never sees their kid. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah. But there are women that be like okay with that. Yeah, no, because because like, how are you gonna like? Let's see if we was having. How are you gonna treat my kid? Right, no. but mm-hmm. they think that they're gonna like change the guy, and no, 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 especially no, no. not that not he's me. going to like be in your child's life, but not be in the rest of his kids' lives. No, no, no. Seeing that you're a good father is something that I would like. Okay, I like that. Like he's yeah. a good father. He's a family man. I liked it. So, um, but yeah, that's definitely my experience. Yes, yeah, so only twice. Single fathers. Just kidding. <laughs> She trying it on this podcast. It only happened. I only dated one. One. The other one had a child on me. It's only one. The other one had the child after we started dating. And you know that's true. She's so we're to moving show on. She's trying to, to show off um, on this podcast. So Shira, Mama is really going through it because she's giving herself. Oh, yes. I mean, she said, you was kind. You was good. I said, you ain't never tell yourself this before. She did. She did. You never said that to yourself but in the she, morning. She, <laughs> this is new. She saw it on TikTok. She mm-hmm. said, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Um, and another one was, you you won't um, be like your mother. Yeah. Or something like you that. You won't settle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you won't settle. Yeah. Um, and then alarm goes off, comes to find out she forgot to take a birth control pill. Which is weird because she has an alarm on her yep. phone um, that reminds her yeah. to do it. So, so she missed the alarm from yesterday when she had sex with Rodney. Okay, but she didn't miss it today when yeah. she's telling herself affirmations about possibly taking Rodney back. Yeah. So there's a possibility that um, Shira could be pregnant. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. Um, so, and that's <laughs> the last time we hear of that. In the story of the episode. Um, <laughs> we don't return to that storyline at all. We just move on to other things. But get it happen. Um, <laughs> this is another thing that threw me off. Yeah. She's cleaning. Yes. She's cleaning. Yes. In her home. In hers. Mm-hmm. And she finds panties in Rodney's pants. Yeah. Remember, he never got his stuff. So his stuff has still been there. And she's now noticing. Yes. The, the perfectly folded jeans. That were like on her bed. That looked like they were washed and folded properly. Have dirty panties in them. Mm-hmm. So she sees that now. She mm-hmm. sees that now. Mm-hmm. And so she's upset about it, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. It would be. Um, so she's like, let me go and let me go on a rampage. Let me go to his house. Let Let me me go to his house, his house. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and let me go through his stuff Mm. and see what, I don't know what, what was she looking for? I have no idea. She saw a suitcase and was like, where do you think you're going? (laughs) What? I was like, what is happening? (laughs) 
<laughs> and then she found like a restaurant menu, like, oh, who are you take it out? Okay. Um, and then she, what did she find? Lord, what the girl done find? She finds, she finds an engagement ring and a note saying, "I'm sorry." Just apologize. Apologize. Like you, first of all, first of all, <laughs> we've been together for four or five years, and you are proposing to me in a letter. Yeah. And she's just, oh my god, this could have been my husband. <laughs> this could have been what could have been. So forget about all that was going on. You think that's what she was? Thinking? That's how it looked. <laughs> or was it more like? I don't know what that girl. I, I, I she keeps me on my toes. I don't she know. Does. I don't. One know. minute she's like, finally I got the goal, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Next minute she's like, how dare you? Yeah. And then it's like, I'm gonna take you back, and it's like, f you, Rodney. Yeah. So, I don't know. So she runs out of there. She does. She left everything as is. Of course. She didn't put anything no, back. No, why would she? So it looks like. So maybe that's why I felt like she wasn't really accepting the proposal. Because, like, I'm just, you, you're going to know I was here and I seen all this. Um, she, I don't, all Did I she know take is, the ring with her? I don't, I don't know. You think she? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. What you know, though? Nothing. Because you said all I know is. Oh, I did say that. <laughs> All I know is, oh, all I know is she better not take Rodney back. I think she And will. accept this proposal. Now that she has possibly a baby. Baby on the way, she yeah. might. I really thought that the way y'all act, I'm going to get in the QC season okay. talk about it because <laughs> y'all, y'all too much. Too much. So we go to Rain. Mm. Rain and the Z. Gays. Rain, Rain and Z. Um... So Rain wakes up at Z's house. They didn't do anything last night. He was too drunk. And, you know, Rain and Z have a conversation about, like, relationships and what this could be. And it comes to find out Rain just feels like he doesn't have faith in relationships. Like, a lot of us don't. Can we talk about Z's Farmer Bill outfit? Farmer Bill. Farm Bob. Um, He's a farmer. Why is he acting like he's a farmer? What was that, guys? What was that? Fixing a tractor. They want to show that he's a manly I man. A, he was fixing the lawnmower. Yeah. I don't believe it. In the hot summer day. He <laughs> might as well have a hat on. He might as well have a straw hat on. Good morning, Rain. Like, he might as well <laughs> have a straw in his mouth. Howdy, Rain. He might as well. I said, why are you in this overalls? Was it overall? It was over. It was jeans. It wasn't overall. It was overalls. <laughs> he had overalls later. But no, it was the same outfit. Because when they were making out, when he put them on, <laughs> put them on the ledge. She let them right up. Lift that big boy right on up. <laughs> the overall started slipping down. And I said, wow, he's farmer. He's farmer. Z. Okay, farmer Z. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> so they so they have this conversation about relationships and not um having faith in them and Z's like tell them I want to see what this could be. Yeah, yeah. And so they get into it, they make out to the point um I think Z also just told him like listen, like if we're going to do this, like if you have to um reschedule with me, call me, don't text me, you know, put your phone on vibrate, act like you're here. Yeah. So just like putting those rules like if we're going to do this, like act like you want to me. I didn't know Z was the older one in the relationship. Yeah, because then, yeah, we found out <laughs> finally that Rain is like 14. An intern? <laughs> An intern. He's like in high school. What? <laughs> and Z is the mature older man, I guess, that he's dating. I thought they were kind of on the same, same level. level. Yeah. And they were just working together. I didn't, yeah, because we questioned like his job and we thought we was questioning was he an intern or not, but. Yeah, but. Now we know he now actually we know is he's an, intern an actual intern at the age of twenty five. Yes, yes, and he still has one more year of school. Is that what they said? <laughs> he said no, he that's said. not what he said. No, Z said you, you're in your last year, and we can see you know how this goes because he didn't want that to affect his job because he's dating one of the interns in the office. Yeah, an intern. Yeah. So when he had mentioned like talk to me instead of text to me, I'm like, oh. He's like the older one in the relationship. He is older. Yeah. Z, Z. No. Rain. Rain is like generation, what, Z? Generation. He's Gen Z, right? Gen Z, yeah. So, you know, they text. They text. They text. Um, so, yeah, he wants, 
he bringing the maturity into a relationship where Rain doesn't know how to act like that. So <laughs> and then he hoisted him up on the Wait. on the ledge. I said, "Ooh, I said, okay, yeah. the older man. Oh, <laughs> this is the man." That's man. why he put on the farm a look. He said, I'm a man. I'm a man. He said, don't get it confused. Do okay. not get it confused. All right now, pharmacy. And, <laughs> and so they wake up later, and Z got questions. He's like, what's up with the sneak messages? What's up with you leaving our pot roast dinner, mid-dinner? Still talking about that. He's not letting it go. <laughs> he's not letting it go. Older man, let it go. He can't. So he's like, are you married? Are you a drug dealer? Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And... Z, I feel like Z Rain answered but didn't give didn't answer, answer he anything. Didn't answer. He didn't answer. No, he didn't. Right? He did. <laughs> he just like my dad. <laughs> my dad gave me um love is transactional. Yeah, in my family. It's not emotional. That's what I learned. The question. But are is you a why? drug dealer? What do you do? Why did you leave? What is on your phone? What's going on? So my dad um, just took everything. So like what? <laughs> and then he's like, "So was this transactional?" Right. Like you want to know? He's like, "No, I want the emotional stuff with you." So I guess they're going to see what happens. Like even um, uh, Z took Rain home, and you know they he's showing him around. Like they're showing, they're trying to create a level of intimacy. Yeah, the bonding. So we're gonna see what happens there. Maybe, if you will. So Misha and Mahogany come barge into his house. They have no level of boundaries with him. It's like all. our life is more important. I don't care what you got going on. You got guests over. Who cares? We got problems, <laughs> and we need answer. We need raindrops. But do they have problems? Is the do question? They? <laughs> do they? It's like leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. Because when they finally like said their problems, I said, "You're wasting our time. You're here. wasting our time." Because that's what even Rain told Z. Like, I don't really like the drama relationship. I see what my friends go through, and I just I don't have the time. And then come here, they come with the drama, with nothing, with nothing. Like, and even like Rain, it was just why like, is what are Rain the here? voice of reason here? Why? Why? He doesn't even like relationships. Why y'all come to him with y'all relationship no idea. problems? And then Misha talking about I need um, advice from a, like a lawyer. Why? Why? She said I need legal. I need legal advice. Why? What For did you what? do? For what? Is she like because of the school situation or what? I don't no know. No problems. You have no problems. You have no problems. She just none. don't like the fact that. There's a possibility that Nicole and Adam can get to know each other or know of each other, but it's like, who cares? I know, but I think what it is, like, she usually doesn't care about this stuff, but I think now that she actually has feelings for, for both, both of them, it's like, ooh, it's kind of, my world's colliding, I don't really like that. But then she also talked about being in a polyamorous relationship. So make so it make sense. I don't know. But then I think even Rain kind of agreed, like, bring them together. Yeah. So... Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Um, Mahogany had no problems, and I was very upset that she's like, Shira is mad at me at home. I don't know what my boss thinks of me. And if I want to continue fucking Caleb, I mean, what does that say about me? Girl, you're the only one talking about this shit. We don't care. I personally would have told her, get out. Get out of Get out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> get out. The door. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Because what are you saying? Nothing. You're not saying anything. But the advice they gave her was just like, it's your body. Do what you want to do. Exactly. Do what you, like, do what you want to do. Leave me out of it. You went to Derek for advice. That's what it, she don't want. Because if you don't, you don't want real advice. That's why you went to Derek. Because you know he's not going to give you anything. No. But you he's, he's going to piss you off because he's always going to throw a sex back in your face. Absolutely. And like prove your point of men. I don't know what. I don't know what. Why? Why did you go to Derek? Why? That makes me so mad. And then you went to Rain and basically Mahogany, no, no, Mahogany, Misha had to tell you, girl, no one cares. <laughs> it's your body. It's like, no yeah, one cares. My body's not free. I'm going to tell Caleb he can't get this for free. Nobody believes you. Go, go on home. He's already gotten it for free. Multiple times. Multiple times. To the point where he said he in love. He, that boy's prom. <laughs> That boy, the boy is gone. said he's in love. It has been like what 
a couple of weeks. That way gone. Gone off of it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, uh, finish up with Rain. He goes to work. Oh, yeah. He did go to work. And Z yeah. basically said, listen, there's this new case coming up that right. you could be a part of. So, just act surprised. I yeah. already put, put word in for you. So, just act surprised. He goes in and it happens to be the client was the guy, his first sugar baby, sugar yes, daddy. It yes, it was. Who got mad because he didn't want to have sex with him. Exactly. And That's the, the man one. speak, money talks with that guy. Absolutely. He left you with the, the thousand dollar bill. Yes, he, he sure did. did. He sure did. Yes, he did. He said, you paying half. You yeah, paying it was half. thousand dollars. Um, so and that, that man hated him yeah. after that date. Yeah. So now I, you're working with me. I'm going to make your life a living hell. Yeah. Yeah. But then... Writing. He said there's too much diversity in this. There was three white people and Rain is black. Yeah. So was he saying, like, I don't want Rain? Or was it saying, like, I only want Rain to do all the work? Nobody knows. Okay. Because it was like, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. So maybe, like, take Rain off the case. Or was it choose that guy, choose wisely? Like, choose Rain? Yeah. Because Z was looking like, what the hell's going on here? Cause, because that guy would not stop staring <laughs> at Rain. Like, you're making it obvious. You're making it super obvious. That you know this guy. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, oh, I have interns. <laughs> like, sir, what, what, what do you just want? T- just tell everybody why we're here. Just tell everybody. Like, what tell everybody how I know you. <laughs> just tell them. You're going to act like this? Tell them. Yes. So, I, I don't know. But... I think in the theme of this episode, worlds colliding. Yeah. So um, Rain's sugar baby world is colliding into his real life world. That's going to pose a huge problem, especially with Z. Yeah. Because you don't know the real T. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Mahogany gets some words of advice from Tabiola. No, it wasn't anything. No. <laughs> I wasn't motivated by her speech. No. I was more so disappointed that. She was sitting there, not focused at work again. Again. I want Fabiola to fire her. I, that's what I was hoping that she'd do when um, she had, like, that one-on-one with her. I wanted her to be like, this is your last day here. Yes, thank you so much. Not even thank you. This is your last day here. Because the way Fabiola acts, you should be fired. Yeah. Because once again, Caleb Dang. is living in your mind rent-free at work. And you're crying. <laughs> This is the second time you're crying on the job. I'm trying to have a meeting. I'm trying to get this stuff done. And you left the event early. Let's talk about that. You left the event early and the event was, you know, able to go without you. So that's even more reason to fight. You wasn't even here. You weren't here. And the event was good. So what do I need you for? Nothing. Pack your desk. Pack your desk and get out. Yes. With your tears. Just go. Just go. Ride the tears on out of here. Yes. I don't, I don't, you serve no purpose for me. Yeah. She's like, I remember my name. Yeah. Shut up. That would have sent me like, (laughs) you have to go. You must leave the premises immediately. (laughs) Security, please get her out of here. (laughs) Cause even when Fabiola was giving her the advice, she was like, you just, her thing was, remember my name. Thank you for that. Get out. What are you crying for? You have no reason to cry. Why was she crying? She was crying. Why was she crying? Why was she crying? She was crying because... She got advice, which is... Her thing was, I'm going to tell Caleb, you can't get this for free. Basically, make a choice. What are you crying for? What was she crying for? Was it because her and Shira aren't talking right now? What are you you crying for? Mahogany. What was she crying for? The tears for what? For what? For why? Why are you wasting tears? What happened to all that Writers. empowerment? Get into that. Why Maybe would, that was why editor. Was she I don't know. Who edited that, the reason for her tears? Maybe she thought, I was like, because she was concerned about her relationship with Fabiola. Like, oh, my boss may hate me. But, but if you that's now the case, thought why about are her... you, you should be at work like, yes, Fabiola, yeah, what do should... you need? What? When she has said that to Rain, I'm like, now you care about work? You've you've never spoken about work to your friends before like no. that. No, and you always said how you know mean Fabiola was. You, she always hated you. So this is not new. It's weird, writers. Let's get into that. 
<laughs> so later on, we see Caleb. Yeah. And his girlfriend. Bianca. Bianca. She has a big plan. Girlfriend, non-girlfriend. We don't really know what the relationship status is. Don't know. Don't know. Um, and she has a big plan. She found a, a lease, an apartment. She basically wants him to move in with her. Like, Forget about the apartment that you already have. Forget about that. Can't do nothing with that. <laughs> I need my own. And you can squeeze in here. Yeah. Um, so apparently they, she wanted to like start a family with him and, you know, grow their family. And he was like, nah, chill, chill, chill. Yeah. So she's like, we got stuff to do. We need to go this way. We were supposed to be a family. We have a list. We have a list and we're behind. So we can get started. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, you, and then she said like, you know what to do. Like, get, you know, get it done. Then Mahogany shows up. Why? Because Fabio, I think Again, Fabiola's I thought this advice. was an editing thing. Like, where the hell did Mahogany come from with a peace offering gift? The same um, painting that she destroyed. Yeah. So after you kicked him out your house. That, that happened. Yep. Mm-hmm. After you kicked him out, you yep. come talking about, I have a gift. No. The first thing she said was, I want to apologize. <laughs> I said... You're disgusting. I said... First thing you said, I I want to apologize. Because why is she apologizing to a man who... I have no idea. Who's trying to have his cake and eat it too. Why was she even there is the question. He said he... The last conversation they had also was just like... In the episode before, it was like, when I call you, pick up. Like, he was going to do the work. Like, I'll call you. And here she come in a trench coat and lingerie. Talking about, I want to apologize. Well, she, whatever. She did admit that she, what well, we've been saying, like, you know, he hasn't lied. Yeah. You just assumed. She said something about, like, I want to apologize for not noticing the red flags. Yeah. And because there's so many green flags. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 And then he goes to say, like, I'm in love with you. Again, sort. I don't know what that was. Gone. And she's like, I like you a lot, but I don't know you yeah. enough to say I love you. Which I'm like, okay, Finally, good. common we sense. We have some common sense. There, so it's in there. there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's there. there. Um, took a while. Took the season finale for yeah. us to see it. Finally. It's there. And then she's like, no buffets. I will not eat after someone else, but I won't be that someone else. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. And then um, we pan, and then they, you know, kiss and make out, and like she's gonna. I, we'll get into the QCCs, and then we see the rest. We don't know. (laughs) We see the restaurant name is called A La Carte. So cute little Easter egg there. Sure. Um, So let's get into the question, comments, concerns, because baby, (laughs) main question: What was that? Writers, editors, all members of the team. So let's let's get into mahogany. So she says, no buffet. So let's let's unpack the lines. I can't. We're gonna I unpack. don't know what that even means. No buffet. So the buffet is a metaphor for, you know, buffet, you take a little bit of this, take a little bit of this. So you're not going to have everything. You're not going to have a plate of all these different women. You're not yeah. doing that. Okay, no buffet. No buffets. We got that. We got that. I won't eat after someone else. So I'm not going to be... Got anything? Yeah, I think she's saying choose one, basically. I'm not going to eat after someone else. Yeah, so, like if no. you're dealing with Bianca, I'm not going to be someone that you go to after. Like she I can't wanna be, be daytime the one and before. nighttime. I want. I think you got to see me first before you see her. I'll be daytime. She be nighttime. I'm not going to eat after her. I'm first. Is that what you was getting? That's what I got. I was getting choose one. I'm not going to be on this because she said no buffet, so I can't. You can't have sides. You can't have something before me. You but can then, only have me. But then she said it won't be fair for me or Bianca. Like she said something. Yeah, for you to make a choice. It's not fair for you to just but string us both along. But why are you telling him to make a choice without him choosing? Let him make a choice. Stupid girl. Make stupid choices. Because just because you put putting it on him don't mean he chose you. Yeah, because he hoisted her up as well. And they're about to get it in. And she's talking about no buffets. I'm not eating after someone else. That's not fair to. And I'm not going to be the someone else. 
But you but are you're about to meet someone else. He who he did not choose you yet. He didn't make a decision. He didn't say because he said we need to play it back. After she made that speech, he, he said, speech. "What does that mean?" He said, "So what does that leave us?" And I said, "Nowhere," because she didn't say anything. She literally just said nothing. She's just trying to be cute. I feel like we might have to replay the tape, but I feel like her speech was leaning towards "We're going to do this," but I need to be number one. Wow, that's not what I was getting. I was getting make a choice, me and Bianca, because that's not fair for you to string us both along. You have to just choose one person. And if you're smart, you're going to choose me. Yeah. Because that's who you have in front of you right now. That's what I was But Bianca just left, so. But she don't know that. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that sounds good. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I I mean, I would And I'm the And I'm the one that's been here. Bianca just got back from... A two year hiatus, but she been you know Bianca been with him when his grandma died. So. He gonna bring that up again. He, oh, you ain't you ain't not gonna have this he is not the last year of the grandma. It's not it. Um, mahogany, I, I, why are you so she, dumb? Why? Why are you you? Why are you you? And why do you do the things you do? Answer. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait. Because this is ridiculous. And the the levels of emotions, like one minute you're, you know, F this. Next minute you're, <laughs> like. Yeah, that's why I, who, I thought it was an issue of, like, editing. I don't know if members of the team just started dropping, like, a show that you were a part of. Don't do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know from experience that's what happens. In the producing world. In the- <laughs> I did take, um, you know, I was part of the producing world, and that does happen. Yeah. When things don't go as planned, mm-hmm. the team drops and leaves. But yeah. I hope that wasn't the case for this, because that can get real ugly. Real nasty, the, real nasty. On the other side. Um, but it did seem... All right, let's talk about the finale as a whole, because we definitely was hoping... I think I was hoping for a little bit more. Oh, definitely. We said that from the jump, like... If you're going to give us a finale, you need to wow us. A wow for me would have been when Nicole introduced Misha and Adam and they saw each other, they recognized each other. But that would have been her son. That's what I was thinking. That would have been a good story. Where did she come from with this teenager? She should have had Adam as her son. That should have been like, Mom, Mom what is this? Ooh. See, that that's, good. that's good. Because if you're going to throw her child, let it be someone we know. Yeah, if we're going to intertwine the world, collide, collide the world, let Adam be Nicole's son. That would have been great. That would have been hilarious. He would have come in, Mom, can we go? And it's like, what? whoa. I just, last night and then the day before, what? So I'm smashing your mom and the son? Whoa. That would have been crazy. Drama. Not this Drama. teenager. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Cause that that didn't that didn't give us anything for the storyline. Cause it's like, okay, she's the older lady. She has yeah, a kid, great. Uh, and and then Misha, you're a, you're a teacher. Why are you surprised that there's a child here? And you need to know for what? That's not one of your students. You don't need to know anything. That would have been good too. That would have been good. Like in the early episodes, get let us see her tutoring a child, and then we see that's the same child. Like. Oh, the okay. Like, come on, that would have been good. We really want to see the worlds collide. That's what gives us drama. Yeah. So that's we didn't when see Rodney in this episode. Rodney was only in the first two seconds. He didn't show up. Let's talk about what we would have preferred with Shira's storyline. I would have preferred them leaning into the pregnancy storyline. Let us see, like, what is she going to do? Like, let let me see her crying. Like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. Crying. Well, like, like, what am I going to do? Like, I would have preferred seeing when she found the panties in the perfectly folded jeans. She grabs all his stuff and burns it. Why did she feel I'm still going to be a good woman and bring it to his home so she can, like, go inside his room? But I still would have ransacked that whole room. She left it, like, a little messy with just his... Suitcase on the bed. Some people don't have that angst, that that rage. But she looked like she had rage. What she was looking for? I don't know. Why'd you go? She went to go look for more evidence of him cheating. But this you've is all seen the, the evidence video. you need. 
We have a, a a threesome porn tape. We have panties in the folded jeans. What more do you need to know that this man is trifling? Because even Mahogany asks, like, in the beginning when she's like, so you're taking him back? What happened to his side chicks? And she's like, I don't know. You never questioned him about it. So you was about to take him back and never Without really talk even. about what he did? Is he still dealing with these women? You never That's asked. What he said he claims he's going to be a better person. But, like, what's going on? Are those, are those girls still your clients? Yeah. Because they need to find a new gym. Because I know you recognize homegirl that was in the gym. Yes. Yes, probably not. She's not thinking. She's not that smart. She just She's the type that just wants to have a man in her life. What really mm. upset me about Mahogany and Shira is they're like many women who... How do I put this? A man's a relationship with a man is more important than a friendship. Like they've been friends, it seems like since childhood, and they were upset upset with each other. But the first thing they did was go look for the guys. Mahogany went to go apologize lie to freaking Kayla yeah. and Misha. Not Misha. Shira went to go look for evidence for um, Rodney, even though she already had mad evidence at it, as it is. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all never spoke, mm-hmm. and y'all live in the same apartment. Yeah. They definitely should have did better with that, like, showing friendship and, like, healing that friendship. Like, because why am I going... Why is Mahogany apologizing to Caleb? Like, apologizing to do? Shira. Like, we can't let this these men break us apart. Like, yeah. that's what I want to see, too. Like... These men come and go, but you need your friends. Like, why are we fighting f- to, like, stay in these men's life? And yeah. I'm, letting you, I'm fighting you. I'm pushing you. You're fighting to stay in this man's life, and he has a whole girlfriend. You're fighting to be his side chick, but you don't really know if you want to be the side chick. And like, you, we're confused on, because and, you're confused. Come on. And you're fighting with trying to be Rodney's wife, and, like, he doesn't even appreciate you, sis. He does not care for you. He likes you. Yeah. He don't no. like you like that though. No, he don't love you like. He's that. not in love with you. Like he's like it's. I think for him it sounds good. Like oh she's the she's wifey. She's the good girl. She's the good girl. Someone I want to keep on on We've my heard roster. About that. We did hear about that. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. Guys like the good girl. Um, but um, so so yeah, we definitely. I w- wish we saw more healing of the friendship. Yeah, because a lot of women do that. They'll fi- they'll fix their relationship with their their boyfriend before their friendship, and it's, it's sad. sad. It really it is. is. It is. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. Um, rain. We definitely got more of rain than we usually did. Yeah. Usually do. Um, what could have made his finale more interesting? I feel like it was good. Like, I like the world colliding of bringing that first guy back to the end. I like yeah, that. I think that was okay. That was cute. But what we're used to, or what we always look for, is like a wow moment. Like, oh my God, I can't wait till next but I think that was, I feel that like was that was okay. Good. That was, I feel like for him, for his storyline, it was good. Because it's like, okay, what's going to happen with this case? Is he going to lose a job? Is that guy going to expose him? We have, I have questions. And I think also with um, Z, Z wants to know about this this world. So now this world is into his work life. It's like I don't know if Z. Yeah, I wish it would have came it. earlier in the in the season. That's what I mean by like it's not that big of a while because had that happened like I don't know episode three four, then we would have saw more of the drama between mm-hmm. all three parties mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as opposed to seeing him just dog walking. Yeah, you know, people. and even having it would give Z a more of a reason to be as mad as he was because that other episode we're like, why are you mad? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now that this is your boyfriend, is this your boyfriend? Lover, I don't know. I don't know what don't you know. guys are, but y'all need to figure out statuses. Yeah. Um, and then Misha, Misha. Oh, we didn't talk about. Did we talk? Yeah, we, I guess we talked about it. So she, her, Misha, and Adam and Nicole are going to have like a threesome. Yeah, what was that in the in, in the, the store. store? Not in someone's house or bed. Again, in the, the store. editing guys, what's happening? So they're going to have a threesome. Yeah, I think so. I guess so because he had brought like a, a tape, a porno tape. Yeah, a sex tape of on Bob's DVD. 
Where did he get it? <laughs> on DVD. Who, who was going to watch it? How were they going to watch that? Because no one watches D- DVDs. DVDs. Um, so Misha, I guess she's like, it's too much keeping y'all separate. So I'm going to bring y'all together. Let's be poly. Um, and they're both with it. Of course, Nicole with it all. Nicole does not even consider you like a relationship. So she's like, it's not really poly because we're not dating. We're just. No, I think they're dating. Are they're they? Kind of rela- dating. What's d- dating is dating. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. Not We're not in a relationship, but we're dating. We're getting to know each other. We're going out. Yeah. Yeah. They're dating. You say so. But they're both with it and down. Um, so I guess we'll see. But it's like. What was for the that, point of bringing the teenager need... in? That's the only thing for me. Like, wh- Where's that leading to? I don't know. And then they have this rela- this um, combining of her worlds. But, like, what's next? Like, is it going to be a relationship with the three of them? Is she going to have to choose between the two? And, like, I don't know what question they want me to ask. Yeah, like what? What am I looking forward to? Like you guys had the threesome, great. Are we gonna start seeing that Adam wants to see Nicole more than he wants to see Misha? Yeah, I, maybe put that something <laughs> like that. Put something like that in there, where like um, Adam and Nicole are hanging out without Misha. Misha's like, wait, what? Yeah, I would have preferred what I was, what I thought from her storyline from when we first introduced. Her, I thought she was gonna end up catching feelings for someone, like legit, like trying to change, take her out the game, but. No, that didn't happen. No. She is the game. She is the game. Um, <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. But. No one's judging. Just need. I don't know what. What's next? I don't know either. I'm trying to see what can they do with that. Will they be in- inviting more people into this poly relationship? Will it be like a. Um, nice. Will it be like a. um, Like what. Is, oh, uh, uh, that's, that's a poly. Orgy. That's polyamorous, like you're dating multiple people and they're dating multiple people. I feel like Nicole throws orgy parties too, and maybe uh, they'll be into that. Maybe it's a whole sex capade. And put it, or some drama at work, like, like since y'all are both teachers, let me see drama at the workplace. Like, I want to see on. one of the parents in this get involved. Like, why do you want to see the parents? What's the point of bringing in the teacher? storyline like bring a teach bring a parent in there if that's the case like she starts dating one of the parents of her students or something like that like if you're gonna bring something in like make it make sense yeah nicole even though she had the sex up she should have been a, a parent, parent at, at the, the school. school yeah guys season two call us <laughs> call us up because we feel like members of your team have been dropping up. shut up <laughs> But we we can definitely bring it up there. Yeah. But all in all, I definitely enjoyed the show. It definitely brought a nostalgia back to like the old school um, web series web series worlds, which the reason why we're here six years later. So, final thoughts. Um, since we're critics, mm-hmm. out of five stars, how many would you give? A la carte, I would give it. I'll give three point eight. I've never heard of that. I make my own rules. Okay. I make my own rules. I'm going to give it a three. Three okay. out of five. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I would, I would almost give it a four. Um, That's saying a lot. I would give it a four if um, the stories flowed better. Flowed better. Yeah. Because I like the, I like the characters. I like the acting. Only... Technical issue was like sound. Ooh, sound. Sound was the technical issue. issue but this episode, the sound guy. The finale, the sound was quit. That one, sound wasn't yeah. good. So, well, yeah, like acting, the storyline, actors, like I enjoy. Yeah, um, cast is great. Cast is great. Acting just like is the great. flowing. Just it's, the flow of the story. Yeah. This needs tweaking. Yeah, but it's a good show. Like I would, I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's seriously approved. Um, it was a fun show to do. Yeah. Talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we will be back with um, another episode soon. 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 We'll be back soon with another episode. Until then, I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. And this is Seriously Podcast. Make sure you're watching us on all social media platforms and podcast platforms and Black Oak TV, Seriously Podcast, everywhere you can find us. So we'll see you. Bye, guys. 
I think we should do something special mm-hmm. with the podcast. So just because we don't know what show 